We're gonna continue working on this 79cc Predator small engine. Uh, this is the reassembly process, so continue watching to see what we're doing in this one. All right, so for this video on the reassembly, we're gonna try to figure out these linkage rods and springs that were not on this engine when I took it apart and uh, how they hook up with the carburetor and all that stuff. So as we're going to put the carburetor on, the first thing I'll do is go ahead and put our nice little spacer plate in there. Maybe. Okay. Don't think it really matters which way this goes. There's no holes in it, nothing like that. All right, so the parts of this system are our governor arm, our throttle arm, and the butterfly on the carburetor. So let's try to figure this out. I'm going to go ahead and put the connect the governor arm. Yeah, maybe. Connect the governor arm to the throttle control. So now as we change the throttle control position, it changes the tension on the governor arm. From there, this long spring, which is sprung, which is going to possibly screw up our governor stuff, kind of slides over top of that arm. So, again, this is a little bit of guessing. I think this kind of straighter arm on, the, on that will go into the carburetor, which means that the hooked arm needs to go into here. So we'll start out, and I don't know which position it's supposed to go into, we'll start out with our throttle arm in the outboard hole of the governor, and then we'll put this into the inboard hole on the carburetor, but we'll put the carburetor on first, actually, no, nope. choke goes out. This choke arm sits to the outside. Okay, so now we'll put this arm into the center part. Use this spring to hold everything down on this end. Maybe. Okay, I actually think that's going to work. So now the governor spring has control. The governor assembly should have control of throttle at this point. Okay, so I believe that looks to be right. Um, underneath that, we will then start to put our air cleaner assembly on which this rubber hose goes into the hole in the air cleaner. As it slides on to the two studs that the carburetor and the spacer went on to. Okay, now there should be a bunch of stuff that goes inside of there, like an air cleaner element, things like that. Mine doesn't have that. All I have is this little plastic plate. And the cover goes on like so. So that's good there. Now we spin this baby around. I can go ahead and put the spark plug. Actually, I can't do that yet because the spark plug is still loose. We'll 
we'll put the gas tank back on first, why not? So mine came apart really easy by this threading out. So we'll just reverse that now. Probably tighter than what it was when I took it apart. Although it's totally going to interfere with that. Okay, so air cleaner assembly back off. fuel line actually slips off the carburetor end pretty easily. We're just going to leave it loose for right now so we get this fuel this yeah, this fuel tank mounted up where it's supposed to be. Flip it over before you tighten those up. Do the one from the back side as well. Okay, now we got to figure out the hose routing for the fuel system. So the fuel routing seems to work pretty good if you bring the hose in between this inboard bolt here and the shroud and bring it down and pop it onto the carburetor. And that's close, but it doesn't interfere with any of the other linkage. All right. So this is a 13 16th, which is not a real common size in the automotive world. So I'm just using a regular socket carefully. Uh, it does have a gasket on it that's already been crushed. Tighten that down pretty good. Call it a day. Now before I put the muffler on, this time I'm going to go ahead and route the uh, spark plug wire just like so. So now that is back in where it's supposed to be. Put our muffler back. And the last thing we need to do before we start it is fill it with oil. But because I'm not super confident in the gaskets in this particular engine, I'm not going to do that until we put gas in the tank and start it. And that's not going to be this time. So. I will start this up in the next video, hopefully. I do think that it's probably not going to run well if it runs at all due to those rings that I put in. But while doing these video series or while making them, we destroyed another engine. So in it has good rings. So if this one doesn't start, we'll try it again with the rings out of the engine that's no longer viable. So there we are. So this is the last video in the reassembly of this 79cc Predator engine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. This little guy right here. This was the first thing we took off Came from the back side. Screws into that hole right there. This is part of the cooling system on this engine so we do want to have it. Okay, that's that. Definitely be careful with this kill switch wire. I am not super happy with the way it's run. 
but it's not rubbing on anything and it seems like it'll probably work so there we go now i need to make a base fill it with oil fill it with gas and see if it runs